Right then guys, today it is the P440 Pro. This is two, two terabytes. Coming next week, it is the P41, two terabyte. NVMe from Solidium. Big thank you to them. Make sure you subscribe down below. Hit that like button and comment for next week. Thank you. Big thank you to uh, Solidium, if that is how, it, how you pronounce it. Sorry, for, so, sorry, Matt, if it isn't. It is 2 terabyte. It is PCIe Gen 4. And it's an NVMe and it's M.2. Now, this does come with included software. And yes, it is software that you do need. And this product by here, it says set up to 7,000 megabytes. But I've got actual benchmarks here and proof of pictures to show that it goes above that. <laughs> Right, you've checked out the benchmarks. Now, yes, I did three individual benchmarks. And what do you think of those speeds? Now, what I will say, some of those benchmarks aren't representative of what speeds I was actually getting. I will make sure to put up pictures here to prove that this drive hit 7,400 megabyte reads and 6,400 meg megabytes writes. It is stupidly fast. You get better performance than advertised. Also, the software is amazing. I will put up a little thing by here to show you the software. Brilliant. You can do a racing. You can do diagnostics. Everything it tells you. The temperature. Speaking of temperature, this drive, while doing benchmarks, I'll make sure to put a picture up, hit 61 Celsius. 61 Celsius. And that has got... An NVMe heatsink on it from Thermalrite. 61 Celsius, that is ridiculous. And honestly, that isn't rep uh, representative of gaming. Now, when you're gaming, you're not going to uh, utilize the whole drive at that specific time. Now, yes, it will perform very fast in gaming. I did on the weekend play uh, CSGO, play GTA. And what I will say, I used to have a Sabrin 500 gig PCIe Gen 4 before and I will say that this that drive does run a lot faster booting up GTA from that drive only took maybe 20 seconds to load up the full game and then you get into the game itself that is ridiculous especially when GTA is known for taking long to load and also CSGO Soon as you clicked it, it popped up. That was ridiculous speeds. And what I will say is this drive is £180. And yes, it's expensive. Yes, that for a M.2. It's rather expensive at the moment where you can buy other drives. But they are only Gen 3. And what I will say is the software overall is very handy as well. It gives you everything. It gives makes sure It tells you if there's any read or write errors. It makes sure to tell you that if there's any temperature warnings everything run diagnostics everything it's brilliant overall this uh, product is fast i requested a two terabyte for my personal computer because i do a lot my main system is for editing and making thumbnails so i do use up a lot of space and that is generally why i wanted that one now when it comes to the p41 this is also Gen 4, but this one is more of the budget option. This is under £100. On some places, you can see it over £100, but where I've seen it is under £100. And for the 2TB Gen 4 drive for under 
a hundred pound it's actually good right so conclusion is it worth it actually say yes but considering that they sent it to me and i didn't have to pay anything what i will say is that me personally after using it now i would buy another one because this is just ridiculously fast and yes it does work your playstation 5 before anyone asks it does work for your playstation 5 and this is a overall fast ssd right so don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like and big thank you to solidium if that's how you pronounce it for sending out these drives for review i really appreciate it and that's pretty much it guys this is richard from wildstack good bye